The State Department on Wednesday released 6,000 additional pages of Hillary Clinton's emails, among them at least five messages that appear to have contained malware. The Associated Press reporting these emails came from Russia-linked hackers. The Clinton campaign says there's no evidence they were opened. This latest round coming as recent polls show the controversy taking a major toll on voters' trust in her. What are the key dates ahead for the Clinton email controversy? Mrs. Clinton's likely to be asked questions about it in the first Democratic debate hosted by CNN. Then about a week later, on October 22nd, Clinton scheduled to testify before Congress about her role in the lead up to the 2012 Benghazi attacks that left four Americans dead. She's also expected to be grilled again by Republicans on the thinking behind her decision to use a private email account and server for her official communications while Secretary of State. If at that point, Vice President Joe Biden is still considering entering the presidential race, the stakes could be even higher. That hearing coming a few weeks before filing deadlines for key primary states, November 20th for New Hampshire, November 30th for Florida, and December 15th for Texas. By January 15th, the State Department plans to release its final batch of Clinton emails. That's around two weeks before Iowa's First in the Nation caucus on February 1st, which is followed by New Hampshire's First in the Nation primary on February 9th. What are some possible unscheduled developments ahead? The FBI is now in possession of Mrs. Clinton's email server. In past interviews, Mrs. Clinton said it was a mistake, though not illegal, for her to use a private email account for State Department business. But at the time, this didn't seem like an issue. The FBI is looking into the security of her email arrangement and will issue a report on its findings in a few months. It has recovered at least some of the deleted emails that Mrs. Clinton's lawyer said were personal in nature and that weren't submitted to the State Department. In the end, about 30,000 emails were submitted and about 30,000 were not. Another potential development, at least one senator is asking for an independent review of the deleted messages to see if any should be considered part of her government work. And the committee looking into the deaths of four Americans in Benghazi, Libya in 2012 could compel former Clinton staffers to testify to get more detail on how she managed her emails and determined which of them were considered personal versus work-related. Finally, about eight weeks of Hillary Clinton's emails are missing from the State Department record. The email blackout period was at the very start of the Obama administration and Clinton's transition into the State Department. According to government officials, no agency is looking for them. But now that this news has come to light, it's more fuel for the political debate in the months ahead. That's the short answer.